Hello and welcome. Thank you for taking time to join me. I am Morjax, and this is The Evil Within 2. Turn down those lights. Grab your favorite beverage. Let's do it. Uh, there's one thing that I forgot to do uh, before we take off from City Hall. Uh, right by the workbench over to the right here uh, was a thing. Oh, doggone it. I always, I always forget to turn on first person mode. Um, right near this workbench. If it's still here, was a, a hole that went into the ground right there. And I wish to, number one, I wish to refill my... I wish to refill my ammo. Uh, yep, more ammo, please. Okay. And then I'd like to head down the stairs. Can I really only hold four? I thought I could do six in here. I thought that was like a thing that I upgraded. All right, let's head down. I'm sure there will be nothing spoopy now that we've cleared this out. I don't like how vulnerable I am on these ladders. Well, that might have been something before, but it's nothing now. I might have missed my opportunity. Or perhaps we'd come back later. I, I really don't know. Um, if we are heading back, we're going back into the marrow. And uh, if we're heading all the way back to O'Neill, I know uh, Braskis was... Bam! Freaking kick the door open! Braskis was kind enough to point out to me that uh, there was a few statues that I missed. And I didn't know what to do with them at the time that I first passed them by. Kick the door open! It's a stupid door! <laughs> Whatever, man. All right, this guy's looking good. Oh yeah. Oh beautiful. Yeah, you guys, you you just keep doing your thing, man. Oh, there's a little kid. Is that a kid? No, but their hand is stuck in their face. Lovely. Beautiful. All right, we're off to see the wizard. Inside the marrow. And I, for one, am ready. By ready, I mean reloaded. <laughs> Bring it on. I think I may have mentioned this in uh, some of my previous videos. I, uh, a couple weeks back now, actually, I had a uh, cold. And uh, that was a drag. But more pertinently to this video, uh, the cough, like, I don't feel sick right now, but the cough just goes on and on and on and on. So I apologize. I'm trying not to cough. I'm, uh, yeah. It's, what, what can you do, you know? Oh, look. Someone made me coffee. Excuse me. I think we're gonna head back to my room. Scope this out. I really... Oh my gosh, we've got... 14,000 gel. I was gonna say, I really don't know how much gel we've got, but... We got the goop. Baby. You brought something Hi. with you. A key? Excellent. Ooh, that's what that does. Some keys open doors of perception. But this isn't one of them. This one is more mundane. But still useful. Oh, we get to pick? Shoot. Go on. Open one. Its contents are better off in your hands than locked away in here. That one. We're gonna go here diagonally. There's probably... I could probably look up a cheat sheet what all's in there, but... Whatever. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being cautious. But you can't avoid fighting forever. Maybe you should think about adding some combat skills. Right, don't tell me what to do. Tatiana or Katarina or whatever your name is. 7,500, 6,000 brawler. Oh, I do like stealth. I do love me some stealth. Unlock. I think that's unlocked already. Special ability. Quickly close on an enemy for a chance to sneak kill them. I think I sort of want that a lot. Maybe I'll regret it. Space to start stop attack when the red icon is displayed. Sneak kill F when the sneak kill is displayed. 
When within a certain distance behind an unaware enemy, a red icon will be displayed. Press F to begin sprinting. When close enough, hit the... Uh, I'm sorry, hit space to begin sprinting, and then F to sneak kill. The attack will fail if the enemy notices you partway through the sprint, so take care to attack from behind. All right, I might, uh, I might live to... Look at how much stealth we have. That's just nutso. Sure, let's get this. It's pretty cheap. Quick recovery. All right, that seems good. <coughs> ah! Blast! These lungs of mine. I mean, they generally do pretty good work doing all the breathing and whatnot, but, uh... You know, no coughing would be good. But coffee would also be good. Seep, seep. Seep, seep. We don't need it, but sometimes you gotta just drink some coffee. A little fortifying cuppa. I sort of want one of those coffee mugs. But that's like a thing for me. I like collect... What? Well, okay, comment down below if you've got something you collect. For my mom, it's uh, crock pots. She like... Oh, she can never have enough crockpots. For me, it's flash drives and uh, coffee mugs. And throw blankets are like the thing that I... It's like when you're walking through the store and you see them on the shelf and you kind of perk up and like, Oh, what's that? That thing. What is that thing for you? For me, it is coffee mugs. And I want more of them. Our, <laughs> our cupboard is totally full up. Packed full with coffee mugs. Speaking of coffee mugs, I am very happy with my dang it coffee mug. That is, uh, I'm actually thinking of ordering another one because I like it so much and I hate to have to wait when it's dirty. I just want to use it all the time. Okay. So, supposedly... Oh. This must be the passage O'Neill was talking about. That opened up. What? Lily? Oh, this place is messing with my mind. I like these little things. Ooh, there we go. I like that little mini game. Lock and load. Get over here! Oh, sorry. Getting a little carried away. What's all this then? Weapon parts and a coffee mug. No, I think it's goop. Beep boop bop. I'm gonna try to save my shotgun for like when I really sort of need it. Oh, that sounds foreboding. Yimmy. Now, do I feel like this is the right way to go? I think it is, so I'm going to check here first. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneak. Oh, yes! Oh, it's so good. I loves me some pouch upgrades. I'm like a kangaroo. All I ever want is to upgrade my pouch. Hi! What's up, sucker? Give me that goop. I want your goop. I want your goop. I want your goop. I want your goop. Mwah. Thanks for the goop. <laughs> You get the spoopy smooch. I hear him, man. I'm all snack like a... Like a ninja. Hello. Oh, whoa, whoa. Easy there. One. Two. 
buckle your shoe. Mwah. Thanks for the goop. All right. Yeah, that went well. Yeah. Kick. <laughs> Screw this barrel. This barrel in particular. Okay. This looks like maybe a door that I will not be able to enter. Yep. Definitely can't operate that. It's too complicated. My The extent of my doors are, do they have a sine wave? Do they have a doorknob? If the answer is no, I cannot access them. Or whatever that is. That's not quite a doorknob. Handle? Handle. Sneaky. Sneaky. Why? Oh. What the hell is this stuff? Why is the hallway bubbling? Does it hurt when I touch it? Nope. But it plumps when you cook them. V is for flashlight. Oh god, it slows me down a bunch. Looking good. I'm gonna get trapped someplace. Oh. Oh, it's so slow. I'm gonna get trapped someplace with this stinking goo. Literal stinking goo. Sneaky. Sneak, sneak, sneaky. Oh! What's up, Davis? This doesn't seem foreboding at all. Seems definitely really good. Stop and listen to yourself. Ah. A secret society abducted Lily and staged her death? Do you realize how crazy that sounds? But it's true. Why can't you understand that? I know it's hard to accept, Myra. But she's gone. Our little girl is gone. But I have proof. Look. Myra, you're obsessed. You need rest. Once you get past this, you'll learn to accept. No. I'll never accept it. If you won't help me, I'll find out the truth on my own. Myra. You were right all along. Yes, you were. I'll take that. A relic from a pre-phone camera era. These are mostly found in old people's attics and estate sales. They can be viewed using the slide projector in my room. What? <coughs> Why am I seeing this now? I don't know, man. Maybe I'm the... Maybe the Matrix is me. All right, that's great. I love it. Did I mention I love it? Squeesh. Squeesh. Hello. <laughs> Good God, look at the size of that thing. Maybe I can sneak past it. Yo, yeah, hide. That's good. I'm going to wait further. Comes around to here. Looks that way. Go, go, go. 
Get, get in cover. Ah, no, nothing. Whoop, 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 whoop. Why not Zoidberg? Ow, 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 why? <laughs> what the hell do I do? Can I hide? Nope. They get it? Well, that went poorly. Bye, guy. Let's go ahead and reload. Here we are. We'll use more of our. Well, I mean, I was doing okay for a couple minutes. I gotta get the hell out of here. Yes, that's true. This looks, uh, unfortunately open. What? You feel like you've seen this before, but you can't quite put, put your finger on where that was. By any rate, it looks pretty cool. You decide to keep it in your room. Collectibles. Well, don't mind if I do. It's great. Oh, shit! Pig, pig. You want a piece of this? Sucker. Chase scene. I thought this place was supposed to be fucking stable. This is stable. You should have seen it before. Am I right? All right, just kind of checking through my ammo. Looks like someone's enjoying the show. Hold lock. Oh. Wait, enjoying the show? What? So I can't. Oh, hi. Hello. A save point. I think I don't want to save yet. I want to get myself in trouble. There we are. Loverly. All right, check behind the door for zombies. Hey look, a file. Emergency core displacement protocols. It is imperative that a missing core be replaced as soon as possible. A core that has been missing even for a few hours can affect STEM programming. If the core is missing for over 36 hours, emergency protocols must be instituted in order to prevent the core from escaping. Emergency protocols are only accessible for Mobius operatives with alpha security clearance and can only be viewed on the Marrow servers. Mm. I feel like that's something that'll be relevant for us later on. <clears throat> well, don't mind if I do. I don't know why you wouldn't do this little mini-game, because it seems kind of a no-brainer. Open, says me. Oh, yeah. Someone's been watching. Lily. Whoever's been here was gathering data on her. Hmm. Stem core candidate. Oh, good. Don't move. You're Mobius, right? I Shut up! Don't say a word! You're not one of us. 
No, I'm not. Kidman sent me. Right. Look, I'm here to help, okay? My name is Sebastian Castellanos. You're lying. Sebastian Castellanos is dead. What? No. Who told you that? My gun Turn is freaking around. out. Do it slow. Diggy, 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 diggy. Is it my wifey? I don't know you. You're Yukiko Hoffman. How do you know my name? I told you. They sent me in here to find my daughter Lily. The core. I'm telling you the truth. I know. You okay. do? Lack of micro expressions and deflection. No verbal parroting. I've seen enough to know you're telling the truth. Hmm. Right. The team psychologist. I have to use whatever tools I have to survive. Like guns. Combat isn't my forte. Seems to be a running theme here. Sorry for pointing my gun at you. Her hair so is flipping into her face. Contractors now? That means things aren't improving. Have you found any other team members? I have. Oh, but yes. The only one I found alive is O'Neill. Liam is alive? Good. Has he made any progress on stabilization? The big emitter's back on, but this place is still falling apart, and I think it's all because of this psycho that kidnapped Lily. He's running loose in Union, and can manipulate this place at will. That means my theory is correct. This is more than a core disconnect. We doctors don't like to use the term psycho in pejorative terms, but in this case, it's apropos. Only a clinically diagnosed psychopath could affect STEM like this. A psychopathic personality type using Lily to amplify his power. This is the worst possible situation. You're a shrink. Any suggestions on how to defeat him? Psychopaths are antisocial, lack empathy, and exhibit sadistic tendencies. But their main commonality is their pathologic egocentricity. They don't care about people, only themselves. Can you think of anything that would be important to him? Yeah. He thinks he's some sort of artist. It's all he talks about. Then maybe the best way to attack him would be through his art. Destroying something valuable to him could knock him off of his guard. I'll mm. keep that in mind. But I've got to get to him first. He's holed himself up in the theater. Right. So exit D5 then. It's right here. Just in the next room. Let's pair our communicators so that we can stay in touch. How convenient to the story. and see if I can't dig up any more information about what's going on. I still feel like there's more to this. Regardless. He's probably going to be difficult to fight. Feel free to help yourself to anything here you might need. Uh, Lily so does me. Lily really think I'm dead? Or was that just a part of your lie detecting test? Sorry to break it to you, but she does. I thought it was the truth, too, until just now. But over the years, I've learned to take everything Mobius tells me with a pinch of salt. It wasn't difficult to see you were telling the truth. Why would they do that? What kind of monsters do you work for? I know it's not right. But consider this. Lily is probably less traumatized by thinking you're dead than by thinking you're alive, but she can't be with you. Yeah. Maybe. But what will happen when I finally find her? Don't worry. She'll believe the evidence of her eyes once she sees you. Psychopaths? If you to keep psychopaths out of STEM, then how did one end up in here? I don't know. Every individual in STEM was subjected to a battery of psychological exams prior to placement. And we've been observing them from here. In secret to keep an eye out for mental instability yeah well that didn't work unfortunately psychopathy and sociopathy are incredibly difficult to diagnose correctly psychopaths tend to be cunning and highly intelligent aware of their own diagnosis they're able to disguise themselves among us mm -hmm. the fact that this one was able to fool us he's obviously adroit and self-aware disturbingly so great so the tests only filtered out the weakest of psychos I feel terribly <laughs> responsible for all of this. I helped devise those tests. You said you think there's something more to this? I studied the Beacon incident extensively so that we could avoid another disaster like that. In that case, the person in question was the core. 
But even then, the environment remained relatively intact. Something just doesn't seem right here. What do you mean? The creatures in here. The dissolution of Union. The total breakdown in communication with Mobius. It just seems like a lot for one person. Even with the power of the core. He mentioned someone before. Another person who wanted the core's power. Mm -hmm. No. It's too horrible to contemplate. What? There's only one thing that could be more powerful than a psychopath in here. But Two I need to psychopaths. do some research before I can commit to the theory. How about how about you tell me cuz I'm the one out there fighting everyone, okay? How about that? Achievement unlocked. Team psychi psychiatrist. Psychologist. Coffee. Red goop. Okay, this is the next way. Um, well, let's go ahead and read this. To all concerned from Operative Grisham regarding Lily Castellanos' initial findings, the idea ideal core candidate must have an unfettered ego in order to retain their own personality while supporting the interlinked minds of many others. Given the parameters, there are only two possible candidate types, egomaniacs with psychopathic tendencies or children. We all know what happened the last time an egomaniac with psychopathic tendencies was in ch STEM, so a child is our best bet. Having access to standardized school test results, we were able to narrow down our options. We feel that we've found the ideal core candidate in Lily Castellanos. Her test shows she is not only a guileless ego, but she also exhibits incredibly incredibly advanced empathy for a child of her age. We are sending her to Dr. Hoffman for further testing. So they're like, selected her. Okay, uh, I'm going to uh, go back to my room. Check out this slide right here. Hello, kitty. Hello, little kitty. I don't really see why I don't really see why uh, why my room here should be so impenetrable to all the bad newspapers. Hey, but, okay. I'm here. The first time I saw Myra, she was wearing that uniform. I think I fell in love with her right then and there. I didn't want to admit it to myself, but after she was injured on duty, I knew I couldn't risk not telling her how I felt. She was such a great wife and mother that I sometimes forget she was a great detective, too. She was right. She knew there was something fishy about Lily's death. I, I mean, kidnapping. I should have believed her from the start. There's no way you could have predicted the truth, Sebastian. You know this. Right, I think that's that. And now we got a little gift from our kitty friend. Thank you, kitty. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to uh, wrap things up for now right here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, I also hope you tune in next time for more. If you've, if you've gone this far into the series, you're, you're probably uh, interested in, in seeing the rest of it. So uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for those of you who have subscribed. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time for more.